what is going on guys back again with another video uh today we're going to be tackling quite a bit might be uh part one of a two series not too sure how we're going to space it out but uh main goal for today i'm going to be putting in upgraded intercooler and um boost pipe so of course boost pipe comes in here turbo side i'm gonna remove part of the intake strut bar we're gonna have to take off we're gonna have to take off um this top part here remove the electrical fan and then we'll be able to go in and drop the uh stock in the cooler and make it easier on myself i'm probably gonna go ahead and just untighten this here from the uh, charge pipe that way this is free moving uh, so i'll have enough room to just uh, maneuver it from the bottom where it connects to the actual intercooler so i'm gonna go ahead and take all this stuff off uh, no need to really record that um, and then we'll pick up uh from there okay. all righty guys so got the uh, radiator fan out and of course it's a lot better to be able to see what we have to do now um there's a better look at the uh stock boost pipe connected uh to the inlet of the turbo and then we have the other side connected to the uh, charge pipe um so i'm gonna go ahead and remove this side of the um intake uh, so we can get a better look at the actual inlet side of the boost pipe and we'll continue from there Alrighty, so we got that part of the uh, intake taken off. So now we have better access to the inlet for the turbo. Now, what we have to do now is get underneath the car so we can do everything else. But I'm gonna show you guys. Um, we're gonna have to remove these two screws, torque screws here. I believe that they're 25. They are 25. So two 25s, and then you have to uh, pick tool or if you have a flathead screwdriver just to pop that socket out and then be able to uh, push it loose same thing with this side I did unloosen um, this side from the um, up top where the charge pipe is so that end side is loose so once I pop it out here I have a lot more room just to play with it up there uh, I do plan on replacing that as well um, and we're just gonna go ahead and knock out the boost pipe too while we're down here. So two T25 screws and we will be back. Alrighty guys, boost pipe and intercooler both out. Um, you are gonna have to grab those O-rings that's in there. Look at the size of this thing, this is extremely small. I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, upgrade and we'll put them side by side and uh, I'll probably just bolt it in there and then uh, end that for today. Play around with it for a little bit. We'll see where it goes, but more than likely I'll continue this tomorrow. So I'm gonna go grab that and do a side by side and fit it in there and we'll be good to go. Alrighty guys, finally got this thing mounted. Um, Honestly, this isn't as difficult as people were making it to seem. Hardest part was probably just getting, you know, the two, the uh, inlet and the uh, outlet past um, the frame and then around this heater hose. Um, but once you get it past that, just snapping it in place and then bolting it down with the uh, provided anchors. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty solid job. Um, i give it like a 3 out of 10 difficulty, but I think that's where we're going to end now. Um, I'm going to uh, play with the boost pipe tomorrow and then uh, bolt everything back up. So we will continue then. Alrighty guys, so next morning and got the uh, boost pipe. This was a pain, um, probably honestly the hardest part of this entire install, having to get those uh, both ends in there um, I pushed the rubber grommet all the way up on the bigger piece that goes into the inlet and then I put the brackets on the lower piece that connects to the radiator not the radiator, the um, 
intercooler and I was able to rotate them and then get the couplet over both of them so that's good to go just got to tighten it up and put everything back together so I'll be back when she's together alrighty guys she is all buttoned up and I did flash to um, stage two plus. Go ahead and take her off these ramp. Um, no leaks, no anything. Um, about to go ahead and do a little drive around, see how she does, and then um, see if I can catch some footage for you guys. Yeah. All right, guys, she's all buttoned up. Took her for a, a drive. Um, didn't record. I was really just trying to make sure um, boost and all that stuff was good. Make sure I didn't have any leaks or nothing. Um, everything seems to be good. Uh, I'm gonna go hard a little bit later on, but that's a wrap. Um, 410 difficulty altogether. I want to say the hardest part is actually putting on that charge pipe. Once you have the charge pipe put on, everything is um, pretty much good to go. So, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Uh, I will be doing the B58 coil conversion soon. I'm waiting for the actual uh, conversion kit to come. I already have the coils. And then I'll be placing the vandal solenoid uh, as well. So much more coming for this, uh, for the channel. Stay tuned and appreciate all the support.